okay welcome back everybody and in this video is going to be a very short and basic video that is going to be dealing with file handling and it's since it's going to be a very basic video I'm not going to be defining most of the stuffs and I'll just be showing the code straightforward so the first thing is that we know a file is the place in is the permanent store of data so we can just call it the permanent store of data in the hard disk and like the RAM where once the data once the computer is shut down or the program exits all the data that is present in it is is erased the data present in a file <coughs> remains there permanently so <coughs> this is a what you see on the screen is a very basic c++ program and we are going to start file handling and the first thing is that suppose i have a program i have a file here so i'm going to create a new file an empty text file and I'm going to call it data and inside this data file I'm just going to write my name and my surname then I'm going to save it <coughs> suppose you want to write a, <coughs> a C++ program that is going to retrieve the content of this of this file which means it's going to read my name and my surname so that's going to be the first task in this in this video reading the content of a file which is going to be this name and this name so let's get to the code right straight up so the first thing we have to do is that we have to include the include the f stream which is going to be the file handling stream for c++ it's a header file that is present built in in almost all in all c++ compilers then the first thing is that we're going to access the file by creating or by opening the file so we have to create a file object which is going to be from the file of the from the class handler of the OF stream. So here it's going to be opening the file. So how are we opening the file? The process of opening a file is first we since the file is going to be input where we're going to get that data from the file, which means the file is going to be input source, it's going to be IF stream which is which means input file stream. And then I'm going to create the name of the object that is going to represent the IF stream or it's going to be the instantiation of the IF stream class in this program which is going to be I'm going to call it file then in order to actually open the file it's going to be file dot open and then in the to open accepts two main parameters so the first parameter is going to be the physical name of the file and in our case in this video we have the file called data.txt a plain text file so i'm just going to pass the name here data.txt.txt and then the other thing that is going to be passed here is going to be the opening mode so as you can see on the screen there is ios base input and ios base out Tho those are the two main main opening modes and in this video since the file is going to be is going to be for input it's going to be ios in so all the data comes from the file so the file is the input source so it's going to be ios in then and up to there the file has been opened and it's the our program is going to be able to read content from this file the other thing that you have supposed to know is that after all the process of reading a file don't forget to close it since it's, it's it's if you want to close a file it's not going to be released for other processes and the file will be permanently locked to your program so you have to close the program as long as you do not need it in your program yeah, you have to close the file as long as you do not need it or you no longer use it in your program so here is closing the file okay and the other thing is is the actual process of reading the data so we are going to read the data the other thing you have to supposed to know is that if you open a file in as f stream you're not going to be able to write data to it since it's only opened as an inf input stream and it's not an output stream when you are writing data to a file the file becomes an output stream but when we write we are reading data from the file the file becomes an input stream so don't forget that and another thing the the, the process of writing of writing and reading is just similar to the process of of getting data using the common c out and c in so we all know that when we are reading data from a file from the screen from the keyboard all we do is c in then we place here the name of the the name of the variable that is going to hold data that the data that is going to be read from the screen so it's similar 
in this process all we have to do is pass in the file object and it's going to be file and then press the uh, they're called the triangular or the the greater sun the greater than signs there are two of them and then i'm going to create a variable that is going to hold the data that will be read from the file and in this case the data is going the data type of the variable is going to be a string and then i'll say my name my name and then from reading the data i'm just going to be passing the variable name which is my name and then that's all all the that the the first line of the file has been read and uh, in this process we are reading the file in plain text mode and further additional notice on binary modes are maybe i'll be provided in upcoming videos but this is a very basic video about files i'm not going to be covering the binary files so let's display the data that is read from the from the file from the file that is present which is the data.txt so our expectations are that the program is going to display this the following content which is vincent yeah the first name vincent the very first line of the program so displaying the data use it to the screen use it using c out so i'm going to display using my name c out my name and end line and that's it so let's compile and run our program and see what happens <coughs> yeah so it says find hand file handling program and it displays the first content of the data that is present in the file so uh, that's all in this video maybe for the next time we'll be covering the the output file stream when we want to write data to the file and in the third video we'll be covering binary files and <coughs> maybe there may be another video or other things in case there are, uh, there are other concerns so thank you for listening and welcome back again.